In the immortal words of Aqua, life in plastic, it's fantastic. Most of us have fond memories of Barbie dolls, but little did we know she was based on a less than family friendly doll. We'll take a look at what the first Ken was missing and why some parents thought her pal Midge needed to be a better role model. Lily. Mattel co-founder Ruth Handler wanted to make a child's doll that didn't look like a child. So when she saw the German Lily doll, she was over the moon about the fact that her figure was just what she had in mind for her next big toy venture. There were just a couple of problems. The first was that Lily was a rather risque character, and she was actually supposed to be a gag gift for adults. The second was that Lily's manufacturer, Griner and Hauser, sued Mattel for copyright infringement. They ended up settling out of court, and they later bought the rights to Lily just to be safe. Barbara. Ruth wanted to create a hardworking doll to inspire her daughter, and her daughter ended up inspiring the name for the doll. Barbie's full name is Barbara Millicent Roberts, but the real Barbara wasn't necessarily a fan. While she appreciates the sentiment, the novelty wore off by the time she was an adult, and she grew to resent the comments and jokes people made about her association to the famous toy. Rocket Science. While Ruth Handler is widely credited with the doll's creation, a man named Jack Ryan claims he was the brains behind Barbie. Before he was hired by Mattel, Jack Ryan worked for an aerospace company and helped design the Hawk and Sparrow 3 missile systems, which is quite an interesting background for a toy maker. He and Mattel argued over who should get credit for Barbie, with Ruth claiming Jack couldn't think of anything original and had merely helped execute her ideas. Jack ended up suing Mattel, and just like with the the Lily situation, they settled out of court. That's a lot of courtroom drama for a single doll. Hometown. We know Barbie has a Malibu dream house, but her hometown is significantly more humble. According to the official Barbie website, she hails from the fictional town of Willows, Wisconsin. Although Willows only exists in our imaginations, the state has embraced its connection with this famous doll and featured an early version of her in the Wisconsin Historical Museum. Wisconsin may be where she grew up, but sunny Malibu is where we saw Barbie smile for the first time. She showed her pearly whites in 1971 when Mattel introduced the infamous Malibu Barbie, featuring an open-mouthed smile. The Mickey Mouse Club Commercials have a way of making even the most boring toys look super exciting, but there was a time before advertising toys was normalized. Mattel made the revolutionary decision to become the first sponsor of the Mickey Mouse Club in 1955 and started airing Barbie commercials on the show. Blonde hair the old expression, blondes have more fun, just might be true when it comes to this famous doll. Although she's known for her long, blonde locks now, she was originally offered to customers as both a blonde and a brunette back in 1959. Given the choice between the two hair colors, customers overwhelmingly favored the blonde version, so that's what Mattel stuck with going forward. Even to this day, kids seem to prefer blonde Barbies, although there are tons of options available. Ken. If you thought seeing Barbie as a brunette was strange, just take a look at the first version of Ken. This poor guy didn't even come with a shirt when he was released in 1961, just a pair of swim trunks and a towel. By now, Barbie's had just about every career imaginable, while her boyfriend showed up as low effort as possible and didn't even bother to wear a shirt. No wonder they broke up for a bit in 2004. Although, she was seen with Australian surfer Blaine during their break, so maybe Barbie just has a type. Family Tree Barbie is a popular doll who has no shortage of friends, fashion accessories, or family members. She has seven siblings. We could be here all day going over her family tree, but one interesting entry is her cousin Francie, who hails from England. Twiggy Speaking of English dolls, the very first celebrity Barbie ever created was based on supermodel and cultural icon Twiggy. This doll came out in 1967 and showed off Twiggy's iconic mod style. Since then, there have been tons of celebrity dolls, including ones of Prince William and Kate Middleton, Marilyn Monroe, and Audrey Hepburn. First Job Over the years, Barbie has had over 200 different jobs. Try fitting all of that onto a one-page resume. But we all have to start out 
out somewhere, even Barbie. Do you know what Barbie's first ever gig was? This doll's inaugural official title was Teenage Fashion Model. Even though she's a toy, Barbie knows the value of a hard day's work. She's been seen as a CEO, a surgeon, and even an astronaut. As if venturing into outer space wasn't impressive enough, astronaut Barbie landed on the moon four years before Neil Armstrong did. And we're guessing she looked a lot more fashionable while doing so. Hello, Barbie. Barbie's had a lot of jobs over the years, but was Spy one of them? When Hello Barbie was released in 2015, the toy was considered controversial because of its defining feature. She could connect to Wi-Fi and basically function like Apple's Siri or Amazon's Alexa for kids. Having a toy that can talk back sounded like a good idea in theory, but there were some issues. Parents worried about the dolls being hacked or about private conversations getting recorded via Barbie. We know Barbie's no snitch, but Mattel chose to dis continue the toy anyway, just to be safe. Collector. Be honest, how many of us were determined to collect as many Barbies as humanly possible when we were growing up? Some of us haven't lost sight of that dream, including Bettina Dorman, who received her first Barbie back in 1966 when she was just five years old. Since then, she's amassed over 18,000 Barbies, which earned her a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records. She also repairs dolls in her Barbie clinic and displays her collection for visitors. Bettina turned her love of Barbies into a lifestyle and and career, and has toured her collection all over the world. Andy Warhol we know Barbie is a work of art, and so did legendary artist Andy Warhol. He's known for his iconic pop art and was determined to create a painting of jewelry designer Billy Boy. But instead of being honored, Billy Boy wasn't interested, and the two argued about his refusal to model. Eventually, the young designer told his artist friend that if he wanted to paint him so badly, he might as well just base his likeness on his beloved Barbie dolls. And he wasn't just being glib. While he wasn't quite on Bettina's level, he did own over 10,000 Barbie Barbies. Andy agreed, which is why he ended up creating his now iconic piece of artwork. Design Process We've talked about how the first Barbie was created, but even to this day, a ton of work goes into creating each new doll. Each year, Mattel sells about 58 million dolls, so they're constantly creating new ones. The Barbie design team is 100 members strong, and although many people tend to associate the name with a blonde-haired, blue-eyed doll, that's not necessarily accurate. These toys are sold all over the world, and 55% of them do not have blonde hair or blue eyes. Barbie prototypes are designed using special software and 3D printing, and the process can take between 12 and 18 months from start to finish. Christy. Everyone loves Barbie dolls, so it's not surprising she has tons of friends. In 1968, the first African-American Barbie was introduced, and her name was Christy. She's one of Barbie's oldest and closest friends, and there have been many different versions of her over the years. Side Eye When you compare modern versions of Barbie to the original, you can see she's changed greatly over the years. Hey, who hasn't? One notable feature are her eyes. When she made her debut in 1959, Barbie had a serious and, quite frankly, fabulous side-eye going on. She continued her sideways gaze all the way until 1971, when she finally had enough of throwing shade and decided to look straight ahead instead. Or at least she looks a little less eager to spill the tea now. Midge. There have been some awesome dolls over the years, and some that were considered quite controversial, like poor Midge. Although kids love Barbie right away, some parents claimed she was a bad role model based on her outfits and appearance. So Mattel tried releasing some more family-friendly dolls, including Midge, who just so happened to be pregnant. This went over about as well as you'd probably expect, and many Barbie fans were furious because Midge appeared to be both young and unmarried. Keep in mind, this was before the hit MTV show 16 and Pregnant premiered. Mattel eventually brought Midge back, giving her a wedding ring and a husband named Alan to stave off any complaints. Surgeon Barbie has had over 200 different jobs, and for a period of time, she worked as a surgeon. Surgeon. A female surgeon might not raise many eyebrows now, but 1973 was a different time. In fact, Barbie having this occupation was actually quite revolutionary at the time. Don't forget, Elizabeth Blackwell became the first woman to receive a medical degree in 1849, and progress was slow there for a while. In 1970, 5% of physicians in the United States were women, and in 1980, only 2% of surgical residents were women. In this sense, Barbie was really ahead of her time. Weight loss. 
But while Barbie has been progressive at times, there have definitely been some dolls over the years which haven't aged well, to put it mildly. A babysitter Barbie should have been fine, except for the fact that she's reading a book called How to Lose Weight, which includes the helpful tip, don't eat. Yikes! Then there's the slumber party Barbie, and Mattel seemed to think, you can't have a slumber party without bringing your scale along. Not to mention that the scale was set to 110 pounds, and since Barbie is supposedly 5'9", this would make her BMI underweight. Fashionistas Barbie at least tried to be inclusive in 1997 by introducing the Share a Smile Becky, but there was just one problem. Her wheelchair didn't fit into the elevator in Barbie's dream house. Seriously, Barbie, you couldn't have dreamed of a handicap accessible house? Later, there was a fashionista Barbie with a prosthetic leg, which inspired fellow prosthetic user Chloe Newman. She raised enough money to buy hundreds of these dolls for kids at Shriners Hospital for Children in Massachusetts. There have been so many Barbies over the years. Let us know which one of these iconic dolls was your favorite. Are there any potential career options you'd like to see her explore? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below and don't forget to click on the subscribe button for more new videos from us here at The Taco. Thanks for watching.